you know, school, then college, then work? Fuck that. Hi, everybody. Today on Lame Games, it's episode three, and we're going to be checking out the Black Bass for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So here it is. Check it out. It's the Black Bass USA. It's made in 1989. It's got a pretty decent title screen. The music, you know, it's not actually that horrible for what it is. So, yeah, the title screen, alright, and I uh, get to put in your name. So, I'm going to put in my name as uh, Black Bass. Makes sense. So, Black. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'm going to put Bass, it's going to be Black B. So, you get three options here ranking player, beginner, or you can look at your previous record if you have your code. So, it's going to be begin uh, just for fun and. Uh, just tells you what this is going to be like. Um, this is going to be heavy rain and the water is pretty cool at 63. So that means that, you know, bats are probably going to be in cover. So let's try to find some cover. Looks like some weeds there. So let's cast out here and see what happens. Alright, well, I'm not really in cover, so I'm probably not going to be catching myself a bass. But, uh, oh, there's something. Oh, freaking cock tease. Alright, well, uh, that's not really the best. Alright, um, let's see if I. Oh, he's coming back, alright. This kind of looks like a. Oh, you fucking dick. Alright, fuck this, I'm just gonna reel this shit in. Come on. Alright, so, uh, you can choose your lure here, so I'm gonna do the, um, shallow spinner. And, uh, I'm gonna try casting here again and see what happens. Should have probably moved, because it helps if you know a little bit about fishing. I've done a fair amount of bass fishing down in Florida a few years back, so down on Lake Jackson, if anybody knows where that is. But uh, here comes a fish. Oh, man, he fucked off. Okay, well, you know, anybody knows it. Like, it helps if you know stuff about bass fishing, I guess, for this game. It's not really essential, but you pretty much need to know if it's raining or if it's cold, they like to be under uh, cover. So it's raining today, supposedly, and here comes a fish, and I got it, and, ooh, um, it looks like possibly a bass, or an oil slick, not really sure exactly what that is. That beeping sound there means that your line's getting really tight and it's about to break, so you gotta be careful. Now if you look down there in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, you'll see a fish, and it's the more you reel in, the more tired the fish gets. The more tired the fish gets, it goes from a healthy looking fish down to you know, fish bones. So, this fucking fish is taking forever to reel in. Alright, yeah, okay, yeah, I know my line's getting tight. Okay, I don't care. I'm gonna catch this fish. Come on. So I'm not really sure what this fish is yet, so hopefully it's a bass. It would be nice to catch the first fish being a bass. Come on. And... Okay, I got it. That's good. Oh, well, it's a brown trout. Whatever. So, 4.1 pounds pretty... Congratulations! What the fuck? It doesn't count towards my shit. Alright, I'm gonna move to someplace else. And since bass like weeds, this seems like a pretty decent place to catch a bass. So I skipped by the, the spot there, I, uh, I changed my lure to something just a little bit different. And uh, since there's a lot of weeds here and it's murky water, since it's raining, yep, here comes something. Hopefully that's a bass. So let's play it calm here, hopefully he'll bite. Yeah, there, okay, well that looks like a bass. I must have speed this up a bit because you guys shouldn't have to wait through the, like, three minutes or whatever the hell it was that it took me to reel this fish in. Now you can see you get caught up on weeds and all that kind of stuff, but the uh, the graphics are pretty decent for what it is, you know, for a fishing game for 8-bit, it's pretty decent. But uh, And the uh, fish jumps out of the water there, which is kind of cool, because bass, you know, jump out of the water. And if you notice, it's a lot harder to reel in this bass than it was for the, uh, the trout there, which is realistic, because in real life, you know, bass are... Bass put up pretty hard fights, so... Alright, I'm gonna get this fish, and I got him there. So let's check it out. And there you go, it's a black bass, and, uh... 3.1 pounds, that's... You know, that's okay for a bass. So I'll add that to my live well there. So I'm gonna move my boat and see where else I can go here. 
Uh, let's check down on the bottom left. I mean the bottom right. <laughs> Jeez. All right, uh, lily pads. Okay, that's good. That's cover and rocks. Okay, bass like rocks, bass like lily pads. Let's see what we got here. So it's kind of important to make it as realistic as possible, as if you're actually reeling in a lure. So shaking it back and forth and jerking it a bit gives them more incentive to bite. Okay, look. Okay, another bass. That's all right. I'll speed this up even faster. And it's uh, more interesting because it looks like a happy puppy wagging his tail, which I think is kind of funny. So we'll just speed through this and get him in there. All right. Let's go fish. Almost in. Come on. And I got him. Okay, good. So I got another black bass and uh, 2.1 pounds. It's not really big, but you know. So, um, yeah, you can go through your log here. It shows you all the fish that you caught for the day and how much pounds it was and whatever. So I got two black bass and four other random fish. And so far, I've got two bass that equal 2.6 pounds or whatever. So uh, that's pretty much the game, guys. It's not really anything amazing. So you get a bunch of different options here. You can ceremony. You can uh, go back home. Uh, you can look at your record for the day. So same thing as before. It shows you all the fish that you caught and the, the records for stuff. Um, you can look at the total record uh, down here, and it shows you what your record is, your participant number, your class ranking, that kind of stuff. And um, and you got your ceremony here it gives you the same thing again, and then it gives you this big ass long code, which you're never going to use unless you really want to play this game a lot. And um, that's it, you know. And this is the end screen, which is pretty much the backside of the bass. So you can also catch pike in this game, and um, you can also catch um, rainbow trout. And maybe there's other stuff at different lakes. I don't really know right now, but maybe you can. So that's pretty much it. I know uh, it wasn't the lamest game today. It was actually all right for what it was. Um, submission to ScrewAttack.com. The music is from EatBitCollective.com. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll make some more. See you later.